having available video content. I mean, short form video is kind of the winning content format. We didn't have a lot of short form video. And so Social Live was a way to be able to do that uh, quickly and efficiently and at scale. My team was really reactionary. We didn't create anything. And so everything was coming to us through tickets. And so if there was a video, it was through a case study or something that was produced as part of a campaign. Uh, we didn't really have any say in it. And so I think Social Live coming in is where we were allowed to kind of say, like, we would like to do a great, you know, short free video here or have an ex executive interview. And so we kind of were able to be a little bit more in the driver's seat. Social Live has also enabled us to be more consistent in our approach and uh, have more of a strategic hands-on uh, management style when it comes to the use of video and its timeliness and application across our business. So if we have the ability to say, hey, maybe we can use Social Live for this and get content that we might not have been able to have before. It's allowed us to be flexible and to be quick. So um, since the start of this year, our first real use case of Social Live was uh, getting content from our biggest event of the year, um, interviews with you know our CEO and, and big stakeholders. And since then, it's been a super seamless process for us. Uh, Melinda and I are able to jump on a broadcast together, put the run of show together, and and put out that content from from right from our events. And our engagement on those LinkedIn lives are are phenomenal. Um, people really like seeing our people in person and, and we get comments and engagements and it's it's been great. It is so important. We find this tool is really helpful in engaging our customers, our partners, our employees, all of our stakeholders around the world through this live video content that we're able to feed through all of our social media channels. I think we've developed a lot of enthusiasm internally as well as we're making plans to attend events or trade shows People will come to our team and say, hey, can we use Social Live? We've seen you use it at other events. We'd like to leverage it as well. So it's built a lot of excitement for us. We have so much video content now. We run three different podcasts, and all of those podcasts are being recorded through Social Live. So we have the ability to have video content as well as audio. Uh, we can easily extract pieces of it and, and use it for different applications, either within social media or embedding on the blog. So it's really been a big area for us. Um, it's clear, crystal clear content, um, and we're able to to work with different types of recordings from from all users of it once our recording's done. From my vantage point, I find the parallels between Social Live and Zebra are amazing, and the fact that we're helping our customers digitize and automate their workflows. Social Live is really doing that for our social media team, making video very automated for us versus working with a number of different agencies, relying on other teams to give us video to convey via social. We can control it within our team and be more strategic and be more real time. Honestly, it might sound cheesy, but it feels like the possibilities are endless. I mean, we look internally and externally for ways that we can use the tool all the time, working together with other teams, collaborating, using it in areas where maybe we can't get someone to travel to. You know, we can simply send a link along and then have video content at our fingertips. I think video is, is gold. No matter how you use it, where you use it, it's so engaging and, and audience members love to to watch it and it can bring any storyline to life. So I agree, I think the sky's the limit on, on what we can do with video and what we can do with social life.